this video I'm gonna talk about port security so port security is a feature on Cisco catalyst switches that controls port access based on MAC addresses so basically means that uh, you can control the host uh, that can access the network uh, based on their based on their MAC addresses. <clears throat> so how here's how we can configure it. How to configure it? So, uh, we can configure it on interfaces. So, for example, here I'm using this uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Uh, first, uh, you need to make sure that the port is not a trunk port or it's not set to. Uh, a dynamic port, uh, which means that it can become a, a trunk port. So you should manually configure the port as an access port. So this is prerequisite, prerequisite, prerequisite. Uh, switch port, and this is how you can configure it, switch port mode access. Uh, first, we need to enable port security by uh, issuing this command, switch port, port security. Uh, and by default, uh, the switch can only learn uh, a, a single MAC, a single MAC address, but you can also specify the number of MAC addresses that the uh, su switch can learn on this uh, particular port. So in this case, uh, this this switch this switch can uh, learn a maximum uh, MAC addresses of. A maximum maximum MAC addresses of two and you can now also specify the the MAC address uh, but that's not really scalable right so what you would do is the best thing to do uh, I mean you have an option to uh, dynamically learn MAC addresses and you can do that by uh, doing this command switch port port security MAC address sticky and by the way if you want to manually configure the, the MAC address instead of putting uh, yeah putting sticky here you can specify the the MAC address so in this in this example we are using sticky uh, feature. So, uh, like I said, the switch can learn up to uh, two MAC addresses um, dynamically because we're using we're using sticky here, and the the first the first a uh, switch can learn the first two, I mean the switch can learn the first two MAC addresses and if you need that MAC addresses uh, if you need the switch to learn that MAC addresses or to save the MAC addresses on on the on the startup configuration you need to actually after the switch has learned the the MAC addresses you need to write, you need to save the configuration so uh, so that those MAC 
addresses are saved on the switch. Uh, it will not, they will not get lost uh, just in case the, the switch reboots. And of course, uh, you can specify the, the uh, violation. We have, we have three, vi I mean, we have uh, three options to set the violation. Uh, in, in our example, we are using shutdown, uh, but you can also use restrict, protect. So shutdown, uh, it will, the switch will shut down the port or it will put the port into error disabled state uh, or or it is also shut down uh, and uh, you can also use restrict uh, the port is not shut down but the, the switch can send uh, SNMP trap to a an SNMP server if you have a an SNMP server configured somewhere in the network and you have protect the the MAC the violating MAC addresses are are dropped the port is not shut down but the switch uh, is not uh, it's not gonna send any uh, any SNMP traps to the to the uh, SNMP server, or it's it's not gonna monitor the the logs on the switch. I mean, it's not gonna yeah, it's not gonna monitor the violating counts on the switch. So this is these are the commands that we can use to verify uh, the port uh, security status so you can <clears throat> you can issue this command show port status i mean show port security uh, this is uh, to show the summary or the status of the port security and <clears throat> this port and you can also specify of course the, the 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 particular interface so in this case we are using interface fast zero slash one and if you need to verify that if a port is in error disabled state, you can use this command show interface status error disabled. Um, in this case, we are using a port security feature, right? So if there are violating MAC addresses, like I said earlier, the, the switch is going to put that, uh, it's going to shut down that uh, port and put it into error disabled state. How can we, and we need to uh, bounce that port, uh, provided that we have uh, resolved uh, the problem in the first place. Uh, but uh, if you don't wanna, if you want the, that port to re to recover automatically, you can actually uh, use this command here uh, under in global configuration mode. Uh, you can say error disabled recover, and you should specify the cause. In our case, uh, port security violation, and you can verify the. The feature is that are enabled uh, using this feature by doing a show error disabled recover. So in our example, we can we can actually see that the uh, port security violation is enabled uh, in the in the show error disabled able recovery and. The, the maximum time that, I mean the, the default time that the port will recover out of uh, error disabled state is 5 minutes but you can, of course you can specify that, I mean you can specify a certain uh, amount of time.
this is and by the way this is something that I was I was having a I was having trouble uh, understanding before but now I I understand it so yeah, that's a good thing so yeah that's all I can say about port security um, I'm gonna talk about other uh, other ways on other ways on how you can secure the the network on at uh, layer you know layer at switch layer access layer so yep that's it for now uh, thanks for watching bye